everyone. I have a really special topic today to talk about and that is the reason that I am going to Africa this summer. To be honest, like Africa has always been a really big obsession with me and I can remember times where I was a kid and I was watching The Lion King nonstop. I would watch it at least once a day, you know, pop it in the VCR. And I just, I loved the African music, I loved all the animals, and I loved just everything about The Lion King. As I got older, I did some other things that I just felt like a little pull towards Africa. I can think of reading a book called Kisses from Katie, and it's a really great book. Um, I recommend everyone should read it. And this girl named Katie just leaves everything behind to go to Uganda, and she stays there for a really long time. Ends up adopting a bunch of kids there, actually, and then she she just loved it so much she couldn't leave, so I think she still lives there, actually. But it's a really good book, and if you haven't read it, then you should check it out. I remember in high school, we played a rendition in my music ensemble for percussion. We played a rendition of Toto's Africa, you know, bum 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 ba dum bum bum. And I really, <laughs> I really love that song. So that song's been stuck in my head pretty much since high school now. Just like along the way, um, especially with my my music degree, I studied so many different world cultures and world musics. And this last semester, I studied a lot about African culture, a lot about African music, and just how that's such a big part of their lives. It's not just like music is a hobby, but it's it's a way of life. It's something that brings your family together. It's something you do while you're working. I really want to go experience Africa. I want to go see the music. I want to go meet the people there. Something else that led me to wanting to go to Africa was my little sister, Josie. Josie is not from Africa, but I'm sure that her ancestors are. And every time I look at her, I just think of all the little African kids um, that are waiting for me to come meet them. I feel like if everyone in the world was able to give a little bit of their time to go do something great, then we could change the world. It's so important to me that we all take a little bit of time to get outside ourselves. If you are never vulnerable, then you can never grow. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stuck in my comfort zone my whole life. And I constantly love pushing myself and pushing other people, even sometimes, to learn and to experience life. There's so much more than just the little hole that you've been placed in. I mean, I'm sure it's a great hole and it's your life, but everyone's lives are so intertwined and there's so much to learn about other people and other cultures. And I think it's so important for us to get out there and learn more about them. One of my other big um, deciding factors was I served a mission for my church. And although I was hoping to go to Africa, I was needed other places. And that other place that I was needed was in the South. I went to Mississippi and Louisiana for a year and a half I lived there. And I devoted my life to serving others basically, teaching them um, about the things that mean the most to me and just helping. I actually got to work with a lot of people that may be from Africa or their ancestors are. And my mission impacted my life so much. I wanted to go on another kind of mini mission now to Africa. When I got home from my mission, I watched this movie called The Good Life. I was just at Redbox trying to find something to watch. And I really like Reese Witherspoon, so that caught my eye. But then upon further inspection, I realized that this movie is about Nigerian refugees and how Reese Witherspoon helps them kind of adjust to normal life. And they have been through so much. And I just, sometimes I can't believe how different people's lives are. And, you know, these people didn't even know how to sit at a table and eat or sleep on a bed. They never had that luxury. And it was just, just an eye-opener to me that 
there's so much that we can do. And I encourage you all to watch that movie too, it's really good. But more than that, I encourage you to find a way to not only change someone else's life, but to change your life this year. Whether that be traveling somewhere and meeting people that you've never met and serving them, or maybe it is traveling to the house next door to meet your neighbors and um, do something nice for them, introduce yourself. If we all did something small every day to help someone else, I know that there would be a lot less problems in the world. And so that's my challenge for you this year. And I also would love for you to help me accomplish my dreams. And if you're able to, I have a GoFundMe um, account where you can donate any amount of money to help me on my journey to Africa. You can donate 50 cents or a dollar or $10 or just however much you're able to. But every little bit will help me because it's really expensive to get somewhere. And I appreciate all the support that I already have received from all my friends and family. And they have known how long I have wanted to do this for. It has been a long time coming. And I feel like if I don't do it now, I, I probably never will. I don't know what position I'm gonna be in next year. I don't know what position I'm gonna be in in a few months. And so I feel that it's really important that I accomplish this journey and this destiny I feel has been placed before me. Thank you to all of you who helped make my dreams come true. And please let me know if there is anything that I can do for you. Um, leave a comment down below in the box of something that you're gonna do this year to help change the world, just a little bit. It can be anything big or small. And I am grateful for all the people that have done something nice for me. So get out there and make a difference. Thank you. Oh hey, I almost forgot to mention that if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Peace!